The area of management platform allows you to manage and configure your wireless devices on the network. Most of the configuration information is actually maintained at a group level. So you can see each of the different groups within our network. These could be based on the locations within my organization, or if I'm a managed service provider, maybe my different customers that exist out there. As we go into an individual group, there's a level of tabs here that allow us to set these configuration settings. The first tab is our basic tab, which allows us to input things like what type of country are these devices located, how do we want to pull them, how often do we want to pull them, and then vendor specific settings based on the manufacturer and model that we might be using within our device configuration temp, uh, group settings. From here we can have two parallel tracks for actually configuring the devices. We have templates that are used for devices that we manage via command line interface. This can be done through secure communication like SSH. And in these group uh, templates we can actually use the existing configuration on a quote unquote golden AP and then apply this to other devices that we bring into within the group. So on this golden AP we have the configuration information itself but the system is smart enough to actually create variables out of those settings that should be controlled on an individual AP basis. For other devices that we use SNMP to configure, once again we recommend using SNMP v3 for configuration from a security standpoint, we have more of a WYSIWYG interface where you can actually have radio buttons for the different types of settings that you need to look at. We have the security page as well as SSIDs, we can set radio modes, and then we have uh, individual pages for different devices that have unique settings, such things as like the airspace, Cisco airspace devices. So once again, all these settings are set at the group level, and then as we add APs into the group, these configuration settings are automatically pushed down to the devices. Configuration also includes things like being able to do firmware updates and upgrades. So you can upload your firmware into the Airwave wireless management suite and then have it pushed down to your different devices and have this done on a scheduled basis or uh, by a number of device basis. Now this is the group level configuration. If we want to go into an individual device configuration and let's say change settings like channel or power, you literally just click on the AP or controller device that you want to manage those device settings, go to their manage page, and there you'll see the different settings that you can control on a per device basis. So the Airwave Management Platform allows you to have centralized kind of group level configuration, but go ahead and override unique settings at an individual device basis. And this works once again both for the thin based controller architecture as well as the thick or fat APs. Now once the configurations are applied and managed on the devices, each uh, device will have an audit page where Airwave software will periodically go back and pull down the configurations of those existing devices and compare it to the last known configuration state. So on the audit page we can actually see all the configurations on the device and then if there are any mismatches we can actually see exactly what settings are different on the device versus what our group uh, configuration policy should be.